Once again, seven million zombies have gathered, and their target this time is the entire universe. Not just our universe, but everyone's universe. All fantasy armies are gathered, including the soulless eyes of the minions here. We also have Lord of the Rings Urukai over this way. We have House Stark from Game of Thrones. Up top, we have the Amogus, Red Spaceman. We've got Pillagers from Minecraft. Up top here, we have Thor. We have Bowser. We have Warhammer 40k Space Marines. We have Pikachus. We have Fallout Brotherhood Power Armor. Over here, we have Lego Black Falcon Knight Archers. Down below this way, we have ourselves ODST Troopers from Halo. We have Stormtroopers. We have Jurassic World Raptors down here. Even though I know those are, are real, I'm still calling them a fantasy army because it's from Jurassic World. So why not? We have armies from all of the different IPs available in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, and today they are going to be fighting against 7 million zombies. Can these various fighters hold out against the zombies, or will they fail to hold the mountain fortress? If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below. Now let's get into this video. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Meta of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers let's go ahead and press start right here and the urukai are going to be the front lines for the fantasy army right now they are on guard mode so they will charge forward but not all of the fantasy army units are on guard mode uh, we've also got bob here from despicable me just chilling i don't know why his mouth is just a gape but uh boy needs to close that he's being a bit of a mouth breather right now urukai charge face first into some burned zombies right here and uh, a number of them are dying but also some zombies are dying both fairly tough units so it's probably a bit of an even match that we've got right here uh, and it looks like the minions are getting absolutely slaughtered pretty much instantly they have huge hitboxes for some reason and they are just getting crushed uh, okay so uh, Gru is not going to be very proud of these boys, is he? Let's see how the raptors are doing over here. Uh, again, these are not actually uh, all that f fantastical. <laughs> the raptors exist, uh, well, existed in real life. Dinosaurs existed. Uh, but we're calling these Jurassic Park or Jurassic World raptors. And they're fighting some of the spear-wielding zombies over this way. A little bit more powerful of a zombie unit, but it should be interesting as the raptors are definitely a bit more powerful of a fantasy unit. They each have 1,000 health, which is pretty good, and I believe there are like 3,000 of them, something like that, up here, coming down the mountain in guard mode and starting to devour a number of these zombies down here. Uh, and if they die, there will be ODST uh, DMR troopers up here from Halo ready to gun down any zombies and then of course the rest of the boys up here. Now, the Game of Thrones lads, House Stark, Spearmen of House Stark, they're not really getting involved yet, they are not on guard mode, they are on hold move mode, so they will not be running on forward like the Urukai over this way. And currently, all of the folks that are on guard mode are actually doing pretty decently here. Not too shabby. Uh, we started out with about 150,000, I believe, uh, fantasy army units. 10,500 have already died on the battlefield, so uh, definitely some losses right there, of course. Um, but they've killed 33,000 zombies, so each fantasy army unit is getting about three kills right now. 
that's obviously not going to be even close to enough to actually take out the entirety of the zombie armies. Um, oh, and here are some of the CDC hazmat zombies over here coming forward. Oh, their hazmat suits are all, like, melted. They look like the elephant's foot from a... Uh, the Chernobyl disaster. Okay, well, that's disturbing. That's a new zombie unit for us right there. But uh, they are coming through and flanking the Urukai over this way. Yeah, we're going to need some better hard stop positions for the Fantasy Army units here. Down below here, definitely not one of them, but I think as we go higher and higher, we could have some decent positions, including these stormtroopers up here, which I'm hoping will be able to do some cover fire for House Stark down below. That would definitely be helpful, for sure, for sure. There are still some minions alive, but they're the ones that are hiding behind uh, the Urukai over this way, who are also taking some pretty extreme losses at this point. Let's go check in on the raptors over this way. Uh, and it looks like large quantities of raptors are going down. However, they've still got plenty more coming down the mountain to attack as well. Currently 24,500 dead fantasy army units, 57,000 dead zombies at this point. Now, I am pre-recording this video, so this will be coming out uh, a few days after I record it. Uh, because uh, Hurricane Milton is coming in. I am just outside of Orlando, so it's going to be rough. I think I mentioned this in another video I pre-recorded as well. So I do apologize for the pre-recorded content. I try my best not to do that, and I try and either record content the night before or the day of. So, you know, things can be as relevant as possible if stuff like that comes up. But I just need to do some pre-recording because we are very, very likely to lose power, I think, tomorrow. Um which definitely would suck, but uh, I'm just hoping we don't have any flooding or any issues along those lines because that is where uh, the real trouble comes into play. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not horribly worried. It sounds like we're going to be getting a Cat 1 or a, um, a Tropical Storm here or at the very worst, a Cat 2. Um, it is going to be... It, right now it's Cat 5, but they said it's going to slow down by the time it hits Tampa Bay. Um, into a Cat 4, which is still going to be absolutely devastating. And they're saying, like, the, the worst storm in the last 100 years or whatever since 1921 to hit Tampa. So, I really hope if you guys are in Tampa, you're taking care of yourselves, hopefully evacuating, or if you're not staying extremely, extremely safe. Uh, or anywhere in Florida, really, because this, this is going to hit Florida very hard, it sounds like. So, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing in the comment section um, below. I don't know when this will be posted, but I hope everyone is doing okay um, if we're in the thick of it or if we are um, past it at this point, you know, if the recovery is going well or whatever. But, yeah, that's just <laughs> why it's being pre-recorded. I hope y'all understand, uh, and, yeah, there will be a few more pre-recorded videos as well. Either way, the Raptors here uh, seem to be getting some crazy zombie kills. The Urukai over here also doing quite well for themselves currently. Uh, but we do actually have the zombies starting to carve their way through House Stark over here. So uh, another front has opened up on the battlefield. And we do have those stormtroopers way up above there firing down. Uh, which is great. Hopefully they can get a lot of kills against some of these toxic zombies. Toxic zombies have 500 health apiece. So does House Stark. So it depends on how much damage each side is doing on who is going to win this little uh, flurry of combat that's going on down here. Uh, hopefully House Stark can, can handle their own for a while. They are getting burned through pretty quickly. But the longer the Stormtroopers up above have to just spray some fire into these guys and weaken them, the better. Uh, the Urukai below are still fighting as well and doing well. Uh, these burn zombies have 350 health, the Urukai have 250, but I do believe the Urukai pack a very, very meaty punch in this mod, so I think they are getting more kills than they are lost, losing overall, dis overall despite the uh, difference in health right there. I think, I think they'll be doing okay. Uh, either way, let's watch the overhead time lapse of these toxic zombies in their CDC suits spreading the virus suit through House Stark over this way for a little bit.
Okay, so the zombies have spread through about half of House Stark now fairly quickly. And honestly, most of these melee units are going down incredibly quickly. It's not looking too fantastical for the fantasy armies. Not right now. But hopefully, as, uh, you know, the mountain gets uh, tread upon, it gets better. The raptor's here also dead. Here is the Halo units over here, the ODSTs. They're getting hella involved right now. Spraying some fire down. This is not the best position to be in, to be honest. I kind of thought they'd spawn a little bit higher up around here. They spawned a little bit lower, so they're a bit more susceptible to actually getting killed and less, less fire will come from them. But at the very least, they're getting a lot of kills, which is good, and we definitely need to start making up this deficit that we're experiencing. The pillagers, they're not really doing anything yet. Um, neither are these guys or anyone up here. I think the top will do quite well. Thor here, uh, he is killable, but he's got a million health, so he's pretty crazy. And Bowser here has 100,000 health, also pretty crazy. Pikachu's very powerful, 10,000 health apiece. Uh, these guys, 2,000 health apiece with miniguns. Uh, Soul Drinker's here, 8,500 health apiece. So the top is where we're hopefully going to make a very good final stand uh, that might be able to pull it off. We'll see, there's still a ton of zombies. But definitely the bottom boys are the peasants who are gonna get rolled relatively quickly. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. The stormtroopers up here doing their best to help out, but it is, again, very, very rough. Let's watch as these guys get squeezed. Well, boys, it looks like the zombies are tearing it up here like crazy. Uh, the last of the Game of Thrones units over this way are going down pretty badly. They are not doing too hot at the moment. I think it's only a matter of time before they fully drop to the ground. These guys over here doing a little bit better with the uh, cover fire from the boys in white up there. Uh, let's go check in on the ODSTs. Okay, they're actually holding Hey, that's pretty good. Not too bad. I was really worried these guys were going to peter out super duper quickly. But no, they're actually getting some really good looks in here and getting some nice kills. I feel like we've used Spartans so much in these videos that I really wanted to use the ODSTs for once. And uh, I think that was a, a wise choice because not only are these guys looking good, they're also kicking butt. They're doing fantastic. Pillagers haven't even had to get involved. Pillagers are interesting because they're actually on the top level, they're on the second to top level, third to top, and fourth to top. <laughs> they span multiple areas. Um, and the Amogus guys here, there are, I believe, 30 or 40,000 of them, uh, but they only have 100 health. Actually, I think there's only 20,000 of them. I think there's 20,000. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, but yeah, they're super weak. They're kind of like the minions. They're not going to last very long. But hey, it's still uh, <laughs> fun to have random units like that involved here. I'm hoping these stormtroopers up top here can continue to get some very good fire out before the zombies end up attacking them fully. Uh, but I do want to watch the ODSTs at work over here in a time lapse for a little bit. So why don't we go ahead and do that because these guys... They are holding extremely well, but they're getting picked off little bit by little bit. Uh, they have 2,000 health apiece, so they're actually a fairly strong unit, but uh, I don't think they will last forever. So let's watch them fight. All right, boys, about a 10 minute time lapse right there. We only have 24,000 Fantasy Army units remaining. So obviously they've lost a lot. Uh, there's still 6.6 .6 million zombies remaining, so they've lost uh, just about 400K. 
Uh, looks like House Stark is faltering and dying to getting hit from here as well as from over here pretty much simultaneously. So it'll only be a matter of time before the stormtroopers up top here start getting attacked directly themselves. So I kind of want to watch the zombies charge on up here. I think that'll be pretty cool. So let's time lapse that for a little bit and see basically the end of House Stark beneath us. The Urukai are definitely all dead now. So are all the minions probably, so <laughs> rip to them. How Stark soon to follow, and then these Stormtroopers, they only have 200 health apiece, so they're not the most powerful, but they do have pretty good laser fire, so hopefully they can stall the zombies a good bit. I don't think they'll hold quite like the ODSTs are able to, but yeah, maybe they can do a little something, so let us watch. All right, well, it seems like the zombies are heading up here, but so far are dying too quickly to actually reach the stormtroopers up this way. Now, potentially as body piles begin to form around here, uh, we could be seeing these guys actually getting closer and closer and eventually being able to kill some stormtroopers, but yet to be seen right now. Over here, the ODST is still getting picked off pretty heavily by these zombies coming in. I think this is probably the best route for the zombies to take. They take out these ODSTs. Sorry, I have my retainer in for a night because I, I grind my teeth, so I should, I should have taken it out before starting to record. I, I didn't think I'd have as much of a lisp. It's not even that bad. It's just like I can't, I can't do teas super well. Um, but either way, ODSTs over here, once they die... Pillagers, I don't think will do that well, and then the, uh, the zombies can flank around the archers and then hit the stormtroopers from this side as well. So it'll be interesting to see. That might be kind of brutal. A lot of this hinges on the ODSTs right now, uh, so let's watch them fight it out for a while here. And about a half an hour later, it looks like the zombies have just about breached through the ODST lines. A few of them still remain here, nothing too crazy or anything like that, so they'll probably go down relatively soon as well. Uh, over here, though, oh my goodness, the stormtroopers are crushing it currently, so really the hope for the zombies is definitely going to be over here. Uh with killing the ODSTs. That's for sure. Because <laughs> at the moment, uh, nowhere else is really at risk of the zombie apocalypse. It's this alleyway here. So let's time lapse that for a bit and see uh, the zombies, which route they take. Because I'm curious if they'll start going for the Amogus boys first or the pillagers over here first um, after they clear out the last of the ODSTs, which actually not even taking that long they're just kind of trashing them so let's just let's just enjoy the thrashing against the ODSTs right now uh yeah defenders have picked up the slack quite a bit during this time 874,000 zombies killed by them even a little bit more though because only 5.9 million zombies remain so over a million zombies have died in the battlefield and uh, there's still 21,343 fantasy units left, um, which is, you know, decent enough. All right, I'll just let these guys die. Uh, oh, actually, no, we finally do have the 
always over here attacking the pillagers. Now, the pillagers have 2,500 health apiece. Why? Why are these Minecraftian men so beefy? And that looks like all the zombies that ended up breaching up that way so far. And no one's attacking them. Oh, what? What? They must have fallen off the cliff. That's why they're they're dead slash dying. I don't think the zombies have come up here at all. So, uh oh, I spoke too soon. Here they come. Oh God, yeah, these Amogus boys have like no health. Uh, oh, you gotta kill. Let's go. <laughs> and he's dead. Rip. Okay. So zombies heading up top right over that way. Um, additional ones are in fact heading up towards the pillagers so I think the pillagers might do a little bit better than I initially thought given their fire rate as well as the fact that they have 2500 health they should do pretty well ODSTs are officially gone rip they did a great job though they got a lot of kills oh there's still a few down here shooting up at zombies <laughs> so at least a few halo boys are still gonna represent zombies now fully going into the Amogus boys over here and they're gonna go down pretty quickly. I'm guessing they might kill less than they have in soldiers, which is pretty bad. But there's more pillagers up here to back them up over here. I do. There's something satisfying about looking at this sea of cyan and red. I, I like that. I don't know why. I just do. I think it's cool. So these guys moving up this way taking out Amogus boys left and right, um, and the pillager is doing a little bit more of an honest stand over here, though they are getting fully attacked now, so that's neat. Uh, why don't we do an overhead of both sides here, because I think this will look pretty cool. I'll be back in a bit. Alright boys, another 30 minutes have passed, and Amogus here is not doing too hot, but the zombies aren't really focusing on them anymore. They're mainly heading up the left path here to attack these pillagers, who right now are actually doing pretty well. Uh, they definitely took down a lot of zombies while uh, defending this area, and then we have the archers, and then we have the peak here which I think will get activated at some point. Looks like down here. How did Amogus characters get down here? Were they thrown from the, the peak here? Apparently. <laughs> um, zombies are reaching some of the stormtroopers here, even getting a few swings in. Look at that. But uh, not really being all that effective, to be completely honest with you. We still have 5.4 million zombies remaining, so about uh, 1.6 milli have died at this point, and 12,636 uh, defenders remain. So why don't we go ahead and watch this time lapse here, um, and pretty soon I am going to go to bed because it is 1am, uh, but <laughs> we'll let it ride and uh, you know we'll do a time lapse here, we'll check back in. And I'll probably just let it ride without time lapsing until the morning and check back in on it. Alright boys, another 20 minutes have passed and 5 million zombies remain on the battlefield. Currently, they're fighting these pillagers still. Um, they're also going to be uh, probably going up to these guys pretty soon. Um, and the boys down here still doing a bang up job. Uh, however, it's 1.30 a.m. I want to go to bed. <laughs> so, I'm just going to let this play out for a while here. Um, well all night and then we will touch back and see how everyone's doing in the morning um my prediction i think they're gonna hold out pretty nicely but you know we'll just have to wait and see so i am gonna put it in slow mode 
which I think uh, cuts the time in half. So uh, we'll just sort of see in the morning where these zombies end up. All right, guys, for you, it'll be a second. For me, it'll be like eight hours. Boy. All right, boys, it is now the next morning. And it looks like 2.5 uh, million zombies still remain. So let's get out of slow-mo now uh, and see what's going on. So we do have some soul drinkers down here from Warhammer 40K. These guys probably just fell off the top because most of them should be all the way up here. Uh, zombies did eliminate these pillagers here. They're moving through this way all the way up to the peak here and taking on some Pikachu. <laughs> um, but they're trickling in so slowly that the Pikachu are just able to hit them really, really quickly right there. And on top of that, the Fallout boys over here with their miniguns are just spraying downwards and killing zombies left and right extremely easily. So this is not a bad situation for the defending fantasy army units at all. They're doing quite well. They've currently got 3.4 million kills, um, 2.5 million zombies remaining. Of course, some do die uh, due to fall damage, due to crunch, due to stuff like that. So the numbers aren't exactly accurate on the number killed, but it's close enough. Um, how are the stormtroopers doing? Wow, the stormtroopers are doing amazing, bro. Actually, shocked. There are bodies falling from all the way up here now. Oh, all the way up here. And trickling down and creating body piles right in front of these stormtroopers. That would be pretty crazy to just be chilling and firing for the last few hours, and all of a sudden you just start getting bodies just trickling in on you. That would be kind of horrible. Um, <laughs> Alright, why don't we go ahead and dive lapse over here for a little bit and uh, let it continue to play out because whew, it ain't over, baby. It ain't over. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, boys. Well, that was a long time lapse because I was out filling sandbags at our local dump uh, for our back porch. And uh, my cat walked on the computer, so I'm hoping that didn't affect the time lapse or anything like that, but it did minimize the game screen for a little bit. So I don't know what that did, to be honest with you. However, I think we got a, a, a resounding fantasy army victory. The zombies did make it pretty far up here. Um... I want to I just bring Bowser into the fold now, just for fun. There's only 335,000 zombies remaining, so I think it's pretty clear Fantasy Armies ended up getting the W here, so I want to bring in some of these hero units, uh, like him, and then let's also bring in Thor. Beautiful! Um, and there's 7,500 remaining Fantasy Army units at this point. Hopefully they can uh, have minimal losses from here on out. Not even fighting. Thor, what are you doing? There you go. Whoa. Oh, yeah, he's a god. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Here, let's, let's go ahead. Since there's only 300,000 enemies left, let's go ahead and sick the remaining boys on them. So everyone is now on free move mode. They will go attack. 
Stormtroopers here did end up getting attacked in the flank. They held that. They held their front. I'm actually shocked at how well the Stormtroopers have done overall during this battle. Extremely impressive stuff. We'll have the Pikachus, we'll have Thor, and we will have Bowser coming down here, as well as the Fallout Boys, some Pillagers, and some Soul Drinkers as well. So the Fantasy Army has done a bang-up job on this defense overall very proud of the boys very very proud but let's go ahead and do an overhead time lapse here finishing this thing out beautiful And there we go, boys. For once, zero zombies left. It's kind of a rare sight. And honestly, we've had a lot of defeats for the Mountain Fortress defenders recently, so it's big that the Fantasy Army's actually managed a W. 7,054 of them remaining, so they took a lot of losses. Not gonna lie, they got pretty damaged. But at the end of the day, they did it. Let's go! This has been like a 15-hour video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay safe out there if you're in the hurricane path. Um, hopefully I can still continue to record and stuff like that, but if there's a gap in videos, that's why. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.